Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access, where we continue with our two new missions around Jewel. We've got this space plane that's going to have to land on Lathe, and also our new base module, the big sphere, that is going to dock to our station around Lathe. Uh, so we'll deal with this one first, and it has a maneuver plotted to lift its orbit to Lathe's orbit. We could get an intercept with Lathe that's a little bit different, but it'll be askew, and I don't want to do that. And we'll just go with this and sort of try to time it right. For a lathe intercept. That'll take a little bit more delta V and we don't have a whole lot to spare. So I'm hoping it'll all, tur it'll all turn out alright, but it's tight. As with the other base modules, we will be trying to dock this to the other two. That's a bit of a challenge. I had been trying to get the aerodynamics of this better than the other two, but I don't think I've done that. But we'll have to see when the swerve is off, of course. We are dumping the swerve so that it's not near our base. You know, we've, we've got enough nuclear things at our base already, I guess. Uh, so it's going to only be able to fly properly without that on its tail. Well, I don't know exactly what it's doing. Okay, well, we're going to need to correct our inclination as well. But I guess that's a fine start. It doesn't seem to be targeting Leaf, though. There we go. Um, we probably want to do the correction there. Our other mission is just going to stay in orbit. Hopefully it's not going to encounter anything. We're going to come down and do this correction and then phase with Leaf. Oh, well, we seem to get a Leif encounter... where? Um, here? hope it's here. I'd rather have it over there, though. I don't know, it seems still somewhat inclined over here, but I think we'll just leave it for now. Alright, so we're gonna try to do that maneuver. So, inclination change to match Leif? Not exactly, though. We're getting some extra inclination in order to get a nice periapsis here. Well, that's in the atmosphere. Hopefully we're going the right way around. Okay, so, yeah. This is all set up. I'm gonna take a peek at the other mission, the sphere, to see how it's going, but we'll follow this in. Lots of encounters, but by that time the space plane should be resolved. I don't know, uh, doing the space plane first will make this seem somewhat anticlimactic. Uh, and this too will probably want an inclination change before actually hitting Lathe. I mean, we could hit Lathe at the node there, but that's a little bit askew and I don't like that. Okay, this will be in quite a long time. We can continue with the Itza base. 63 days, though. This might take longer to get all the way around. Uh, yeah, that periapsis is in, 70, is in 79 days, so... Alright, we'll do the thing with the its sphere first. Comes awful close to Jules' atmosphere. Jules swing by. Whee! <laughs> it reduced our time warp. The Time Warp is not nearly so afraid of Jewel as it is of Gilly. <laughs> uh. Okay, Orbit Raising Burn with the Sphere. Okay. That's just a tentative burn. We still need to do the inclination change over here. So... We don't need that too precise. I mean, need is a strong word as far as this inclination burn here. We could probably get away without it. But as you can see, it's leading to uh, some stuff going on there. And it doesn't cost that much. This we definitely don't want in the atmosphere. Anyway, that looks pretty close. Alright, so this has itself set up, and let's go back to the plane. Alright, on to Lathe. 
We're going the right way around, right? <laughs> Always have to ask that. Seems that way. Okay, that periapsis is probably not what I want. We're going to go in tail first because it's not going to be balanced going nose first. And also the nose tended to get overheated when we were going nose first anyway. That means that we're probably going to be straight on to retrograde. And we probably want to be lower then. Uh, so not like 46, but maybe 42. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm gonna save because once again, I don't have like NASA tools in order to predict this, nor do I have like trajectory planner. So yeah. Just notice the sort of thin veneer of the atmosphere of lathe that you can see right there. You can really only see it when it's highlighted against Jewel. Our landing site is... Where is it? There it is. Just coming into daylight, so that's okay. That's good. Well, let's see if this altitude works. Altitude and attitude. Whoa! Okay, not 4x. I don't trust 4x time warp when we're potentially overheating. I noticed that the overheating indicators seem to get more severe at higher time warps. We at least need to capture. I don't want to use Delta V for that. We're going up again. Well, I don't want to use Delta V, but let me see. I guess I might have to. 42 was not the answer. Okay, that leaves us with 288 here. Now we do still have the sparks, but those are just for tiny adjustments. They're here. After we let go of the swerve. Uh, I'll accept the fact that I had to spend a little bit in order to capture. We're gonna save again. But I could have, you know, like restored the save and selected like 40 kilometers or something like that, and that would have saved us a little bit. But I think we can manage w with what we've got right now. Uh, we'll try 40 kilometers here and still go tail first and see if that can get us to a nice lower orbit. We do have a Kerbal on here, just as a reminder. Neil Dunn likes to hide deep in the in the recesses of this display but okay we've got heat still likes to deviate away just a little bit and now it's trying to roll for some reason I don't know no good reason to roll but it's rolling <laughs> It's rolling. Something about the control scheme makes it want to roll here. Of course, the control surfaces are basically backwards at this point, right? So that might have some effect. I think we can go around one more time with the swerve attached and not deorbit on that pass, but maybe we need to lift the periapsis up a little bit just to be safe. Just a little smidge higher. Might be wrong about this. This might cause us to come straight down. I hope not. Landing location still in daylight. Okay, 43. Fine. If it does bring us down, I, I probably should save again. <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. The thing is, what I'd do is I'd test the uh, aerodynamics and get the right altitude for different situations. But since I expect in KSP2 that maybe the atmosphere is going to change and the aerodynamics are going to change, I don't want to put in the effort until they stabilize that whole deal. So, yeah. Otherwise, I'd have a little chart with numbers to figure out exactly what altitude I want to get to. Oh, well, that's nice. KSP2 does have a lot of nice looks. Okay, so hopefully the last 
we'll pass before we try to land at the base location. Uh, well, it's wiggling all over the place. But again, it was never meant to be perfectly balanced in this direction anyway. But we might be getting more drag than I was wanting. We we're definitely getting more drag than I was wanting. I wanted to go up by now. Okay, yeah, this is not this is not gonna work well for us. We're coming straight down like this. We're gonna have to use that save and lift this up more. Okay, so we need it a little bit higher. I mean, 44 is just just one kilometer higher. It really was about how we were randomly rotating in the atmosphere more than anything else. I could really cause confusion by letting go of the swerve here, but and then going in nose first. I think we'll just keep things consistent, though. Let's see if one kilometer does the trick. I don't expect it to. But we'll see. If it holds retrograde better than expected, and then better better than it did last time, it's gonna end up with a higher apoapsis than I was expecting. And so the one kilometer difference is gonna be more, we'll see. Uh, well, it's wiggling now. The more it wiggles, the more drag it'll get, and the more the apoapsis will come down. We do need to have the altitude eventually go up though, that's the important bit. This number has to stop going down. And that depends completely on our orientation. And... Alright, up we go. But we have to go up faster. Right now we're hanging out at this altitude quite a long time. I'm very much used to this whole deal where one kilometer makes a huge difference though. And that looks like the situation here. Alright, we have remained in orbit, so that's good. Lifting the periapsis by one kilometer worked. And now, once we get to apoapsis, we'll be dumping our swerve engine. Actually, we could probably retroburn a little bit here to get the apoapsis down a bit. And then we'll dump the swerve engine and then use the... I think I generally want 80 to 90 kilometers and then use the little sparks in order to get us to a good standby orbit so that we can figure out when to land at our target location. So, disposal of the swerve time. Undock. Yes, this has no vessel control now. <laughs> We're just dumping nuclear reactors into lace atmosphere. It'll be fine. I'm sure nobody's got a problem with that, right? Right. Okay. We only have 127 meters per second with these sparks, but that should be enough. I mean, we could have lifted our orbit and then disposed of the swerve and it'd just be hanging out in orbit of lathe. But maybe we found out that Leif needs some extra radiation. After all, the Kerbals are green. Okay, we are here already. And actually, I probably shouldn't have lifted my orbit up. Because this seems like the normal 135 degrees that I want in order to deorbit. Usually. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have lifted my orbit up at all. Okay, um, I'm gonna save though. 
because I don't know if this is right. Previous times we had gone retrograde around Lathe. So I can't use those exactly as a basis. Well, we have enough, but boy do we not have much left. I'm gonna go with 6.6 .6 kilometers, whatever we've got there. Let's see if that works out for us. Alright, we are in the atmosphere, nose first now. Hardly any fuel except for what's in the jet pods. And let me just make sure auto switch is disabled. Jet pods. We're looking like this right now. It's probably nose heavy. So hopefully I can tilt up without worrying about it flopping all over the place. And so far we seem to be going long. And we're going up again. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna try and force it down because the apoapsis is going up. This is feeling reasonably stable so far, but we're in very thin atmosphere right now. So not the best indication. We, of course, have the jet engines, so we could make a turn. But not too long a turn. Yeah, we're supposed to be landing over there. I think we can see our stuff from up here. Doesn't look quite right, but... No, it's actually something else over here. I thought those little white spots were our things, but actually... We're over here. I wonder how balanced it is if I try to turn. Let's do some shuttle things. I should have done the shuttle things earlier. The upper atmosphere of Leith is just weird. Come on, you can do it. Turn around. <laughs> we gotta lose all momentum before we actually manage to turn. But this isn't even a maneuver I would have contemplated with the previous iterations of this space plane. I still think it'd take too long with the jet engines to get over there though. Even if we turn around like this. We've already lost sight of the location. Probably the earlier mission's instability caused us to have more drag, so... Really, we should activate the jets and see if they'll work. Okay, you're not the jet. Okay, fine. They're spooling up. Wow, wow, well, don't go, don't go around, don't go around, don't go around. It likes to roll a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, well, if it's gonna roll like this, we're not gonna end up anywhere. I would have to land here. I can't turn it around. Okay, we'll try to retroburn to a lower periapsis. So we're picking up the save. Sorry about that, but it's definitely the best option. I'm just gonna use up all of the spark fuel. Okay, that's that. We'll deactivate them. Okay, we are in the atmosphere. We're getting heat. Atmosphere is forcing our nose down, but I'll try to lift it up a little bit to get more drag. Maximizing on pitch hinders our ability to control roll. Okay, well, I'm gonna pitch down. Stop that apoapsis going up. Okay, well, at least we didn't go up this time. We are looking like that, so that's better than last time. It's still a little bit far. Maybe we can try some shuttle-like rolling and roll reversals and stuff like that. We're way too high. We're slow, but we're high. Which is not a good combination either. 
We've got our location right over there. Can we turn quickly? Can we nose down enough? Sort of looking like a shuttle approach, isn't it? Sort of. My general principle is that if I can see a location, I can land at it. But that's going over to the horizon pretty quickly. It doesn't seem to be taking my roll and pitch. Ah, okay. No, I wanted you to keep turning. Oh gosh. It was all nice, and then it stopped being nice. I tried to roll and pitch more, but then it decided to start just doing this now. Why does it do? Why does it do this? And it controls roll and stuff pretty nicely earlier. I don't seem to have any control at all right now. Okay, alright, alright, it's stopped. I don't know why it's rolling there at all. Uh, I think I barely have enough room to pull up. I mean, it stops rolling. We don't have RCS, I just accidentally pressed R in the course of trying to press E. Yeah, uh, it's just that little area it wants to roll a lot. And I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, we're going vaguely in the right direction. Somewhere over there will be fine. We're not gonna go there very quickly though. We can fly. I don't know why it just rolls randomly right there. Also, my controls seem to do nothing at that point. Very inconvenient air mass. Okay, I've saved. We've had a long flight after all. Let's see if I can land. Uh, I think I'm coming in too fast. Uh oh. Crash trajectory, it says, but we'll just choose not to believe that for now. For our other things. Uh, uh. Okay, well, okay, we're just going too fast, and I don't seem to have much ability to slow down. I should have put air brakes on this. Uh, you know what? Let's go around. Let's go around. That's a thing planes do sometimes. Let me go to full throttle there and click off independent throttle. I think that was the problem. I wonder how it got independent throttle. I must have misclicked something at some point. Okay, hold on. We need to not be tilted when we come down. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh. Well, it's a good thing I saved. Alright, so uh, there was a problem on the first approach. Okay, we need to turn off that independent throttle right away here. No wonder we weren't slowing down. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't bounce. Okay, brakes. Those landing gear, though, I don't know why they do that. Okay, this time the approach worked right. Just didn't know what was going on before. Oh, oh no, it didn't work right. It didn't work right. We hit something? Was Is there one rock that's, like, different? Or something? Great. Um, maybe this is okay? It's sort of turning in the right direction. Oh, no, we're losing other bits. Um, why did that happen? Alright, we are going to try this again. And I'll turn right towards our other stuff sooner. So that we might avoid whatever rock killed us, I guess. Maybe as soon as I touch down I should save. <laughs> uh...
Ok, breaks. Okay, there are no big rocks here. Seriously. Oh, don't do that. Whatever you were going to do, don't do it. Oh, <gasps> it did the same thing. It just randomly blew that landing gear. Ah. Uh... Fine, you know what? There's just gotta be an alternate base here. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to do. I can load up the save again, but I have no reason to think that this is gonna end up any different. I don't like it tilted like this though. Those two are still sort of sitting proudly. The engines are making a lot of fuss. Okay, well I can pick it up from the save if I think that there's going to be a different outcome. But I think I'll leave that for next time. I'm dubious about whether... Whether there's going to be any difference or whether we're just gonna continually lose that one landing gear randomly at a very low speed in what appears to be very flat ground without a rock. Yeah. But maybe reloading the game will help. That's a possibility. So I'll pick it up from the save and see if reloading the game will somehow change the RNG on the landing gear or something. Who knows? Uh, so we'll try that next time. I'll try once again to land it and then we'll bring in the sphere. So with that somewhat disappointing result for now, though we'll, we will change this. Uh, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.